How's it going guys? I want to show you the adapted audio filter that I built and I'll show you it how it works and I'll show you it working in action. So let's take a look at how it works. How it works is it takes a noise signal. It simply takes a noise signal and subtracts it from the main signal, which makes sense, right? So if you have your voice plus noise coming in the main and then you subtract the same noise out of it you should be left with just the voice right but before it does that it needs to scale the noise frequency that's coming from the noise mic that way when you subtract it you equal it equals zero in other words let's say you had a noise frequency at one kilohertz and coming in both of these guys right but if the noise frequency is, let's say, magnitude 1 here in your main, and the noise frequency here is at 0.5, then when you subtract, you won't have zero, you won't have zero magnitude noise frequency. Your noise frequency frequency will still be there, but it'll be at uh, one half, right? Because you have noise frequency of one minus noise frequency at one half, you'll still be left with one half. So what the adaptive audio filter does is it takes the before it subtracts, it takes that noise, it takes this noise frequency, subtracts it from this, but it makes the magnitudes equal. That way, when it subtracts, you get zero, or theoretically, you get very close to zero at the noise frequency. So that is what the filter is doing. And it's using the least mean squares algorithm to do that. So, in a very top level structure, how it works is it takes the noise frequency here, matches it with the magnitude of the noise frequency in there and then subtracts it, and you should theoretically get zero uh, magnitude noise frequency. So it effectively removes the noise frequency that was in there. All right, so let's go take a look at this. This is um, with the filter off, and I'm running on uh, YouTube over here. I'm running a one kilohertz. Uh, pure tone and a two kilohertz pure tone, right? And this is what my phone's seeing. It's effectively seeing, um, it's seeing both the 1K and the 2K uh, tones. So here, my noise frequency, I'm running uh, a 1K. So it's going to take, to take the frequent, the two one, the 1K and the 2K frequencies here, and it's track the 1K leaving effectively just the 2k right so here's both frequencies the one the two but i'm going to subtract the one with a 1k frequency and I'm effectively left only with that rightmost uh two kilohertz frequency now if you notice the no the noise floor has increased which i'm not quite sure what that's due to my be due to the, digit the digitization somehow. I'm not quite sure I have to look more into that, but uh, you can see it has effectively removed the one kilohertz uh, noise there. So anyway, let's go do an audio test with me with someone speaking in the microphone and see how that works. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three, testing. This is with the filter off. I'll repeat, this is with the filter off. Testing, 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 one, two, three, testing. This is with the filter on. I repeat, this is with the filter on.